Hi, my name is Przemek Hojecki and this is Business Data Science course. So why a course like that? Why business and why data science? Of course, data science is one of the hottest markets right now. Uh, whether you wanted to be a data scientist, you find plenty of opportunities, but actually data science is everywhere in each industry, in each business. So if you're on the business side, if you're a decision maker, if you're a project manager and you're thinking about applying technology to whatever you're doing, then probably you need to use some data science and for that you need data scientists. So this course is for you, uh, meaning for a person who's in the company where you're applying the most recent technology, you want to be up to date. Uh, you don't code yourself, but you know you need to know uh, what coding is about, what you can expect, what kind of problems you can solve. Uh, so I thought there's this knowledge gap right now on the market where you have many, many courses directed at data scientists, either are starting data scientists or more experienced one, many books for data scientists, but actually there's like no course for people who are who want to get into data science from more business perspective or data scientists who want to have more business knowledge on how to apply data science to real world problems. So this course is for you. I want to do something which is efficient, quick, uh, really talk about both methods that you can apply, but not getting much into details because uh, I'm assuming that you won't code yourself. And if you're coding yourself, then those buzz buzzwords will be enough for you. I mean, I will try to explain a little bit what supervised learning and supervised learning, machine learning in general, net neural network cl classification, clusterics, etc., etc. There are re really many, many methods that I want to explain, but I want to always have an example in mind, which, which is coming from the real world. Like for example, you might be working in marketing and trying to understand different groups of clients that you're having, uh, or trying to recommend other products on your e-commerce shop to your clients. And uh, you, you, you just want to decide and make this kind of recommendations automatically. Or you're trying, you're working in real estate, trying to predict the value of a given uh, building of a given flat house, uh, those kind of, pro maybe you're working at the bank and you're trying to see what kind of anomalies are going on there, are, the, are there any, any illegal transactions, uh, or trying to filter your emails from spam. All these kind of applications uh, will be discussed here. I want to discuss those because you can apply machine learning to those kind of problems and actually machine learning data science works perfectly for those type of problems. Uh, whenever you're trying to predict, classify, extract information. Uh, so yeah, so I want to talk about how to extract data, uh, how to process that data. And then if you have already data in your company, for example, those purchase history of your clients, how to analyze that data to get the most value. Uh, so I'm assuming that you're already working at a company where you have data or you'll be buying data, I also discuss that. Uh, and you want to get the best out of your data to really use that because we're living in this funny world right now where everything is uh, digital. It's not a problem in acquiring data. The biggest problem is actually to make sense of the data or big data uh, and try to do something useful which makes uh, sense in business, which brings profit. And this is it. This is the course that I want to give you. So in this very first episode, in this introduction, uh, what I want to discuss apart from this whole thing about why data science is useful, because it is very, very useful, as you prob probably already know, uh, the thing about different languages and programming languages that you're using. Uh, if you're coming from the business background, then probably you know more about SAS, uh, Excel, of course. Actually, Excel is a programming language for uh, more purist uh, data science, that might be a shock, but it is a programming language. It was invented uh, as a programming language, actually. Uh, but you probably know SAS and Excel. Uh, there are two basic uh, other languages which are used by data scientists. Those are Python and R. Especially Python is the most common uh, framework. Uh, because this this got the largest support from the community, uh, so you can find many many open source components uh, in Python. This is very useful uh, because you can build and implement your sol solutions algorithms very quickly uh, into whatever business you're doing. Uh, so you should keep that in mind. 
If you're looking for a data scientist, you should be looking for a person who knows Python very well, who can implement solutions fast, uh, because data science is very practical. It's all about reiteration of algorithms, of data, uh, and the, the whole circle works like you're giving the data set, um, you're trying to invent the algorithm for uh, how to use this data in the best possible way. Uh, this probably doesn't work in the, the best, but something is coming out of that. Then you're coming back to data, back to algorithms, and so on and so forth. Thanks to that, in the end, you get really nice outcomes. And this is what data science is about. So you should remember about uh, those languages, languages, especially Python, that's the crucial one. Yeah, so this is the course about how to use data science in different applications. Uh, the next episode will be about predictions and how to, for example, predict the price of a real estate. And then we'll talk about marketing and other, other different many applications. Thank you for watching this episode and see you in the next one.